All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR. So Bethesda has finally announced the release date for Starfield. Xbox fans are finally getting their most anticipated game that's been eluding them for a while now. I'm happy for y'all. I hope this game turns out every to be everything y'all hype it up to be and everything y'all want it to be. I, I truly feel that way because y'all have been waiting for this one a very long time. Y'all been anticipating this and looking forward to it. I hope y'all get what y'all want. So finally, it's September 6th. This should be the final release date. I don't predict, you know, because I'm Negro Domus out here. I don't predict any more delays. This should definitely be the final release date. And they also announced a Starfield Direct, a Starfield event. That will be um, June 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, if I, yeah, June 11th, they announced that as well. So let me just say this, right? I, I joke around about the whole being, being, I, listen, I've been a right, I've been right about a lot of stuff, a lot, like Metacritic scores, release dates, just, I, I can't miss lately. I mean, I've always been pretty good at this stuff, but especially lately, oh, I've been predicting everything, like, exactly. So, but l let me just say, a lot of this stuff is not rocket science, right? Pre predicting some of the release dates for this, for this game, for these games, is really just common sense. Let's look at Starfield, for example. It really wasn't hard. Oh, and by the way, I got to. Yeah. So, as you can see, back in December of, of 2022, I predicted both, not one, but two Starfield and Redfall release months, right? I predicted Redfall, Red, uh, I said Redfield here. That was a typo. Redfall will release in May 2023. Obviously, I'm, I'm right about that unless that game gets delayed. I don't, I don't see that happening. And then even harder to predict, Starfield would release, not only did I say September, I said the first week in September. Let me explain. It's, it's really not that hard to figure this stuff out, right? So Starfield, let me explain it. Starfield was, was delayed from, um, from its November, uh, was 11th release date. So here's what you got to do. Look, look at, you know, it was going, it was going into 2023. So you look at the 2023 calendar, right? You know, it's, it, it's not going to come out in the first three months of the year. That doesn't make sense. If you delay a game, you delay it a game of this magnitude, I should say, you're going to need more than three months. Even April is, is kind of like pushing it, right? So you automatically, uh, honestly, just eliminate the first four months. January, February, March, April. Those are gone. That's done. You, that, that's eight months left. They're not releasing a game like Starfield in July or August. July or August, are, are, are those tend to be games that... <sighs> Put it this way, um, th those tend to be games like Saints Row, okay? Not to say that all games that release in July or August, you know, are, are bad, but you don't release, you know, a game you really care about and a game you, that's a heavy hitter in, in those months. Uh, maybe you release something that, you know, you don't really want it to have competition and all that stuff, but typically they tend to avoid those months because people are outside more in the summertime vacation and all that stuff so that are, that eliminates two more months so that's four months gone plus two months you have six months left get rid of december it's not going to release in december once again december is also one of those months that nobody necessarily wants to release their game in so what do you have you have five you had was that five months left so you got may you got may june september October, November. It's five months left, right? Redfall. Redfall is a game that's smaller in scope and, and um, just size and, and everything they, they're trying to do in that game. It's not as ambitious as Starfield. So you know they want to and they will release Starfield, uh, uh, Redfall before Starfield. So being that Redfall was also um, delayed, you know, it seemed like they wanted a little bit more time. So April or May seemed, seemed fair, but May made the most sense. So you eliminate May for Starfield, breaking down the whole science for y'all. So what do we got? We got four, we got four months, we got four months left. And 
you don't gotta and i'm i'm not one of those people who you know believe when xbox said oh yeah the game is going to be launching in the first half of half of uh the 2023 oh yeah guaranteed bull crap if you believe that i don't know what to tell you stop believing everything xbox tells you it's like they how, how many times have, have they been wrong or or let you down so don't fall for that right so now we got the whole first half of the year damn near eliminated from from january to August is eliminated through process of elimination and just common sense. So what do you got? You got September, October, November left. Okay. Now, is it, po is it possible and likely that it could have been uh, October, November? October just didn't seem right. You know, it just, October is, is kind of like that month. I, it just didn't, it just didn't feel right. It's like that, that month where you could release a heavy hitter, but November kind of makes more sense for for if you got a banger. So you eliminate October. And November with the game being um delayed from November, a full year delay seemed just a little bit too egregious. That was that was too much. I I think they needed to polish the game, but they didn't need to polish it that much. So in my mind, I'm like, mm, I'm a I'm a I'm eliminating November. And September also made more sense because that's like when the gaming season is just starting, right? So for a game like Starfield, yeah, you want, you want to be the one to kick off gaming season. So the best time to do that is the first week in September. Voila, ta-da, look, prediction. It's really not that hard. I, I, you know, that's how my brain honestly processed that whole thing to kind of predict Starfield and, and both of these release dates. You know, it, it's really common sense. You just got to like look at the landscape of gaming, look at the, the magnitude and the scope of the game. Look how many times they talked about how ambitious Starfield was. And think about how many times like Bethesda is going to try to avoid, there's going to be bugs in the game, but they're going to try their best to utilize as much time to avoid you know, um, falling for, uh, you know, being that buggy game again. They, they don't want that again, right? There's going to be some, but once again, they don't want to fall into that trap. So they're going to take a little bit more time. And that's why it's going to get delayed out of, um, out of the first half. But you also want to kick off the gaming, uh, the gaming um, season. So yeah, that, that's, that's really it. People was talking about March, June. June, if they, if they launch in June, that, trust me, there's going to be some bugs in that game because I feel like a three of those months are going to be just dedicated to polishing and bug squashing. And also releasing Starfield in the same month of like E3 just didn't make sense. Just that just doesn't make sense at all um, because I, for, and no, they're not going to stealth launch it. They're not going to stealth release the damn game either. Not something like Starfield. But yeah, it just didn't make sense because even and I'm speaking about E3 as in even though nobody cares about E3, the show actually, but each publisher does their own actual like e, E3. September, I'm a genius. I'm a time traveler. I, I can see into the future. I have a crystal ball, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's all I really got to say. Um, I won't be buying Starfield. <laughs> I have no interest in this game whatsoever, but I'm somebody who's not, really a fan of uh bethesda proper games not not a fan don't care ne never liked uh elder scroll or fallout or never been into that never liked the game so i will not be buying starfield have no interest in it whatsoever um, i will be reacting to that uh event though um and i hope the game looks better than the previous um than the than the previous time they showed Starfield because I don't think that looked impressive. That looked rough and janky. If, if, and if I had, and, and you know, my, I continue to upgrade, you know, uh, well, change and adjust my Metacritic predictions throughout the year for games. But for right now, I'm going to say Starfield lands at, I'm hovering between an 87 and 86. I'm going to go 87 right now. I'm going to go 87 right now. 90? No way. I'm going to tell you right now. There's no way this game gets a 90. No way. Not happening. And it's not. 
it's it's hard for a lot of games to get 90s now. Like a lot of games that would typically get 90s, they're struggling to get to land, you know, in in the mid 90s. Uh, even games like barely make it into the you know the low 90s. It's just harder than ever. Um, and I just don't think this game is gonna is gonna do that. No. So I gotta say, let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.